possible to, to explain where I've come and where I've come from and where I'm going. About a year ago, uh, I was going through my senior year of high school and um, I was just doing a whole bunch of stuff, um, a lot of, you know, partying and, and whatever, whatever we do as high schoolers, you know. And I was getting really desperate and um, I was just wondering if this was all there was to life. I texted one of my buddies, um, and I just had a, I had a question for him. I, I told him I really wanted God to be a bigger part in my life. How did I do that? I didn't I didn't know really anything about it or anything at all. Um, or that eventually led me was Hope Chapel, and um, I went to this Bible study. Um, the the quote unquote teaching that night was on Jonah and the whale, and um, just talking about how Jonah ran away from God, and um, eventually God you know sent something to swallow him up, which I was just soaking up like just like a completely dry sponge because I was just so zoned in and I didn't know why. I was just excited to be there, I guess. And um, I was uh, chewing some gum uh, this night and um, the gum lost its flavor. Uh, and I didn't want to get up and, you know, spit the gum out or, or get up and miss anything that was being said. So I was thinking in my mind, I need something to spit it out. And I was borrowing this Bible from the church, but as soon as as soon as I decided that I wanted something to spit the gum out in, I turned the page of my Bible and there was a blank post in it there. And eventually I just, I was, I, I, I was freaking out. I was saying to myself, this is probably from God. I probably need to spit my gum out in this post in it. And I didn't know why, but then I pulled up the post in it and what was there was uh, Romans 7. And it talks about, you know, doing what you don't want to be doing. Um, and you don't know why. And it's the sin that dwells within us rather than doing what we want to do. And I didn't know what I wanted to. I knew I didn't want to be doing what I was doing. And um, that was just piercing my heart and just like opening me up. And I was just amazed that this even happened. This, this small event that just seemed probably the most significant turning point in my life. Um, and then it goes on to Romans 8, 1, which says, there's therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I, I think I received Jesus at that moment. And, and it's just been incredible from there. Just through a series of crazy events because Jesus wanted me uh, I, I've gone from being, you know, just a lost person, just somebody lost, uh, just somebody doing whatever they wanted to do, doing the whole teenage thing, to um, just to, to being to being somebody who loved Jesus and Hope Chapel, and then eventually just from being a baby Christian to to the worship leader of a youth group, um, an amazing, incredible youth group, and I and I couldn't have I couldn't have told you a year ago that I would be here. I couldn't have told you a year ago that. Um, that, that this is what I'd be doing, and this is what I would want to be doing. And, and the only reason I'm there is because of my, my close bond to, to Jesus and to just His Word and just being taught by His Word. I want to follow the Word of God as best I can, and I just want to, I want to live by it. My name is Neil, and this is my focus.